Hi everybody and welcome to the wonderful world of ratios. In fact, ratio is used in two different ways. Um, we need to be able to mix things together using ratio, but also divide them out. And for this reason, I've decided to make two different videos, one for each section. This particular video is looking at how we share things out using ratio. And at the end, I will put a link up so that you can go straight to the other video. Thank you. I think the best way to have a look at the method of sharing using ratio is a quick example. So here we have two people, Jonas and Aisha, and they are going to the shops to buy some chocolate bars. They have a look to see how much money they have each. Now Jonas says, I don't have very much money. I only have two pounds. Aisha has a look in her purse and says, well, I have five pounds. So they go to the shop and they say to the man behind the counter, please can you tell us how many chocolate bars we can have? And the shopkeeper says, certainly, between you, you can afford 28 chocolate bars. Now Jonas has a look at this and said, oh, that's great, 28 bars, there are two of us, so if we divide 28 by two, we get 14 each. Now, Aisha has a think about this for a moment and says, no, that's not fair. You only had two pounds, I've spent five pounds. Therefore, I deserve more of the chocolate bars than you do. At which point Jonas says, well, how do we work out how many bars we get each? Okay, let's have a look at the actual situation that we have here. If I rewrite this and put J for Jonah, A for Aisha, and write two and five, here we have a ratio. This is the ratio or the amounts that Jonah, Jonas, and Aisha put in together into the pot. Now, when we are talking about ratio, we ignore for the moment that they are actually pounds, we just call them parts. So altogether, Jonas owns two parts of this ratio, and Aisha owns five parts. So the important thing here is to recognize that this ratio has two plus five, it has seven parts. So this ratio, seven parts, two of them Jonas's, five of them Aisha's. Now this is important because this seven here represents the total number of parts in the ratio. If we can work out at the moment in terms of chocolate bars, how much one part is worth, we can then share the chocolate bars out. And here's how we do it. We have 28 chocolate bars and we want to share them out to divide them into seven parts. So we do just that, 28 divided by seven. How many sevens in 28? Well, there are four. This tells us that each part of this ratio is worth four. So if one part is worth four, we know that Jonas owns two parts, so that's two lots of four, that's eight. On the other hand, Aisha owns five parts, that's five lots of four, is 20. So what this is telling us is that out of the 28 chocolate bars, Jonas gets eight of them and Aisha gets 20. Let's have a look at another example using a typical kind of question you might find in an exam. We'll go back to Jonas. Uh, today he's putting down a kitchen floor using tiles. His pattern needs one black tile for every four white tiles. He works out that he will use 100 tiles in total. How many will be black and how many will be white? So how do we approach this? Well. First of all, we know that the total number of tiles is 100. So that is the amount that we are going to have to share out between black and white. And we've also been given the ratio because black to white is 
one black tile for four white ones. Okay, exactly the same as in the last example, we look at the total number of parts in the ratio. One part belongs to the black tiles and four parts to the white. So there are five parts to this ratio. So first step, let's take the 100 tiles and divide them by the five. Again, remember why we are doing this, because we want to know what one part of this ratio is worth. So 100 divided by five gives us an answer of 20. So that 20 is one part of the ratio. Let's put that back into the ratio. 20 is one part. Well, black tiles do have one part. So one part is 20. So there must be 20 black tiles. Now, white tiles, there are four parts of the ratio. So that's four lots of 20. Four times 20 is 80. Therefore, there must be 80 white tiles. And you can always check your answer. 80 plus 20 equals 100. So we've used all the tiles up. An even more straightforward example of a question might just say, share 80 in the ratio 8 to 2. No names, no stories, just a very straightforward mathematical question. Again, we look at it in exactly the same way. The ratio is 8 to 2. Therefore, this ratio has 10 parts. I want to know what one of those parts is worth. So I take my total, 80, and I divide it by the number of parts, which is 10. 80 divided by 10 is 8. So one part of my ratio is worth 8. Looking over here, this side of the ratio has two parts. That's 2 times 8 is 16. And the other side of the ratio has eight parts. That's eight times eight is 64. And again, check your answer. Does 64 plus 16 equal 80? Yes, it does. So that's how we divide in ratio. If you haven't seen the other video already, well, there's a link at the side taking you straight to it. If you've enjoyed that and you want to see some of my other videos, please would you also hit the subscribe button. Thank you.